All right, so recently I was tasked by a fellow YouTuber and friend to make a very specific uh, USB to PS2 adapter, and that is USB in and two PS2 outs, so one being a keyboard, one a mouse. And why you'd go about doing something like this is he wants to set up a KVM where he has a main USB keyboard and mouse, and then he needs to go to either a computer that uses USB or it uses, US, uh, uses PS2. And there are things on the market that already do this, and they're just vastly more expensive than, um, than I would ever pay for something. So basically I set out and said I would go try to make it and this is ex what I came up with. Um, no point in really showing you a demo, it's just a keyboard. But I wanted to show you a few things when it comes to the code. Alright, so before I show the code I want to describe you some of the oddities that I had to figure out. Specifically with the idea that I have one PIO piece of code that's going to be used by two state machines. So I made a little diagram to show you how this is going to look. On the left we have the CPU and on the right we have our PIO zero block. So I'm just going to start off with just one of these PIOs. And we have one PIO COM. This is the assembly code. On the left we have our state machine zero, which I'm going to use for the keyboard, and we have our FIFOs for getting data in and out. So when it comes to sending data, we have this blocking command that will add TX FIFO until it's full. And internally, the state machine will fill up this RX FIFO. Now when we need to empty the FIFO, when we've got a full message, we use IRQs. We have the IR carrier zero, which is going to go to the PIO IRQ, which will set off the keyboard handler, which will drain the RX FIFO. Now, once we have two state machines now, so just like before, we have this blocking send call, and just like before, we have the RX FIFO that gets filled and we need to empty it. Now these two devices, these two state machines are exactly the same. The only difference is we have, we're using them for two different outputs on two different wires, basically. So how do we go about distinguishing if the keyboard sent the IRQ or the mouse sent the IRQ when they're both using the same assembly code. And the way you get around this is you use this IRQ relative command. Now the relative command will use the state machine number as the lower two bits of the IRQ. So with this, even though they're using the same assembly code, state machine zero will be on IRQ zero and state machine one will have IRQ of one. So when either of these set off their IRQs, these both handles will get fired, but we'll have checks internally to distinguish which one should actually run. So we can see this in the code. We have this IRQ set zero relative. So we're setting active the zeroth interrupt and to be relative of the given state machine. And in each of these callbacks, we basically look to see if our given state machine index has been triggered. If not, just automatically return. And this is the same for the mouse. And since they're both operating off of the same IRQ object, they're all using this uh, PIO1 IRQ or PIO0 IRQ, we have to use a shared handler. Otherwise, if you use an exclusive handler, the second time this gets called, it will cause a hard fault because you can't exclusively have multiple devices with the same IRQ. 
And from a code perspective after this, it's pretty similar to my PS2 keyboard video. So no, not going to go in too much onto that from this end. Um, basically, the only thing I've added really is the USB stuff. So we have two commands to grab keyboard or mouse input and then convert those inputs into PS2 format and then send it over. All right. So from this point, we're just gonna I'm just gonna package up this device and basically send it out. So for this little board, I made this nice gaudy orange case for it, and I I mislabeled the K and M for keyboard and mouse, but whatever. So all I have to do is take this board, stick it in here, close this, and secure it inside, and it'll be all good, ready to ship. All right, so I got my box to ship out. KVM orange thing. If he needs help debugging, got me a, got whatever he programmer needs. Full box Jaeger and handy manual with not much use, but all the goodies inside. Let's stick that in there. Let me just close the box. Should be good. Go. Boom. 